Hello everyone and welcome to Brain Blitz Audience. Right now, ChatGPT is all the rage. The Microsoft-owned company has made great strides in the AI chatbot scene, with Google struggling to implement their BARD system. Now these aren't the only platforms in the world. Today, we'll be looking at the top 10 AI platforms out there that you have never heard of. Let's start off with our first platform. This one is an image-based platform called Stock IMG. Now when we go visit Stock IMG, you can see that it is all about creating images using AI. So let's log in. You can use any account to log in and you'll get a freebie for one particular um, image. So the reason why I did that is to show you the whole thing. You've got book covers, you can make book covers um, using prompts here and then you can put variations if you want. Um, you can also make wallpaper and art. This is blue neon effect using illusions, vertical, horizontal sort of thing. You can create posters such as this one. You can create stock images. these you can create logos very important feature that illustrations such as a cloud of pink dust and even a web UI so let's go to wallpaper and let's type say Let's generate it horizontally. Here we go. And now it's getting generated and we'll see how it's gonna go. So basically all you have to do is to type in a prompt, choose your sizes and voila. Here's your photograph. Now that's stock IMG. Let's look at another AI platform. This one is called Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is all about uh, voice. Basically, you type in a prompt, and then Eleven Labs will give you a voice, which says out that text that you can download and use in various aspects. So when we go to Eleven Labs, so as you can see, it's all about voice. You can do storytelling, news articles, newsletters and blogs, audiobooks, etc. Um, speech synthesis is, their, is the primary objective here. However, with paid services, you can do voice labs where you can clone your own voice to do text. You can also do publisher projects, which is coming this year. They're also an ethical service. And that's all about it. Now, in order to see how this works, let's type something here. And let's choose our voice. This is a video. Voila. So that was 11 labs. Next, we move on to another audio source, which is audio platform, which is Papercup. Now, Papercup is about dubbing. So here, they use an AI system to dub videos. This is mostly a paid service, but we can give you an insider view into how this would feel like. So let's go to papercup.com. So this is their website. Now I'm going to choose English first. That's how Papercup is good at. So it 
you can take any video and you can dub it in any language that you want and it will put in the dubbed script onto that same video and it will do it really well. So that was Papercup, where you can dub any video in any language. Now let's look at another video based AI tool. This one is YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. So um, we're using Glasp, this is the uh, platform. Now you, it's basically a highlighter platform, but you can actually get YouTube summaries and transcripts with the same thing. So let's look at Glasp first. So Glass, this is their website when it comes to YouTube summary. They've got other applications as well, but this is the highlight. Now, that's not the only thing we're planning to show when it comes to Glass. Let's look at a YouTube video on a, on, um, on say, a, on a browser where you have the extension of Glass put in. So here comes the video. See that? That's the transcript of another video from Brain Blitz Audios. So now that we've done that, let's move on to the next AI platform. Here we have Clipdrop. Clipdrop is also an AI platform focusing on images. However, this time it's more about up uploading your own images or using the stock images there and changing them. So you can do cleanups, removing backgrounds, relights, replacing backgrounds, text to images, upscaling, and text removing. So let's go to Clipdrop to see how it's done. So this is the Clipdrop website. Let's put it at 100 percent. So. These are all the tools that you can use. Let's try, say, remove your background to see how it works. So let's put this particular image. So this is the original image and that is the background removed. See the uncanny perfection? That's using AI to do the job for you. So, that was Clipdrop. Let's move on to the next one. This one is also for photography, which is called Booth AI. So Booth AI is, again, another example of an AI system where you can type in prompts to create images. So let's look at the homepage for Booth AI. So you can create images by simply specifying your desired shot and if you want uploading some sample products. Let's try it out for free to see how it goes. So let's say a backpack and the school, natural light, time of day off noon, camera angle is close up. Um, there you go. Now you can generate it and the request has been sent so it's it has started generating images and you'll see some of them in a short while so again this is an, another website which uses credits that's similar to our first one which is called stock IMG so again here we uses they use credits so once your credits are done, you'll have to do a paid service or you can use another website. So, in the interest of time, let's look at some of the actual products that's already been done here. So as you can see, separate images of the same product. Warships, top views, side views, etc. Got false trees being made here, close-up ones as well. So that's what Booth AI does, in a nutshell. Now 
Now here's a unique AI tool, Rationale by Gina AI. Now Rationale is an AI system which helps business owners and any individuals in general in making tough decisions. So this particular platform, what it does is that it helps you to um, analyze the pros and cons of making any decision and it even can do a SWOT analysis for you. So let's look at rationale and see how it goes. So let's log into rationale, agree to both of the policies, log in and see how it goes. So let's type in a decision, make a video on AI platforms, since that's what we're doing. So here's their, they're going to put in a pros and cons analysis here. Here's another one that's already been done, drive through a busy town at rush hour, and it says to consider an alternative route, and the pros and cons. So apparently there's a server error, so we can check out this one. So it gives you a pro-con analysis for using an alternative route, which says can get to destination quickly, avoid traffic, save time. However, you may get lost. It can be stressful and it can be dangerous at times. So again, AI helping you out in decision making. Now, let's look at a search engine. This one is AI enabled. This is called Perplexity. Perplexity is an AI search engine where you can ask anything and it helps, it uses AI to help get you the answers. When we go look at Perplexity, it does this side connection check and once that's done, you go straight in there and then here you've got um, answers similar to that of ChatGPT because it uses AI. Um, so these are the popular queries. So how to improve YouTube video SEO. And you can see it brings it out as text. Now the beauty about perplexity is that it also shows you the sources from which you've taken it. It gives you related searches. So, th so these are all stuff similar to Google. However, you're, you are getting an actual text message from the answer. And then you can ask follow-ups um, to the same you know, question. So basically, whatever ChatGPT is doing, except for the fact that you can get your sources, it shows you what its sources are, and it also gives you related queries that you want to you know, pursue. So that was Perplexity AI. Now let's look at another search engine. I mean, there are multiple, a couple of search engines in this particular video, but this one is not. This one is Browse AI. So even though it appears to be a search engine, it's actually something quite different. Browse.ai is actually a, pla a platform using AI to extract and monitor data from a website. So it can do data extraction, it can do monitoring, and it also has uh, pre-built robots that you can use for popular use cases. Um, um, it supports custom APIs, Google Sheets, Zapier's, Airtable, and Pably, and other platforms such as Bubble, Salesforce, and HubSpot are coming soon. So again, no coding is required. The setup's about two minutes. There is very little maintenance and it emulates user action. So a whole lot of uh, pros, and you've got many companies here like Amazon, Clue, Lego, Accenture doing it. So these are all, so this is what the website looks like. So if you were to do get started for free, um, it will ask you for your, Now goes to the dashboards towards the robots, extract structured data, monitor site changes. These are all stuff that you can do in. You can go straight to Browse AI, that's basically the homepage again. So 
that's Browse AI, an AI platform that has robots in order to extract data or monitor a website. And now, our special, the final um, platform that we're showing to you is Chatsonic AI. Now, Chatsonic is basically a chatbot similar to ChatGPT. However, according to their website, it can give you recent data such as the ones beyond 2021 and it can also um, help you out in actual conversation and also making stuff such as images and so sort. When it comes to chat GPT as it is, you can only ask questions up till 2021 because uh, it needs intensive training for the rest of the data. So let's look at chat Sonic. So this is chat Sonic. Um, this is a website talking about factual trending content. It generates art as well. You can use personality avatars, write anywhere and everywhere. And you can also use voice commands for your features. It's got various recommendations and stuff, so let's start chatting. I believe it's asking for it to sign in. Let's see how it goes. So anyway, while we're waiting for that, this is how it goes. So this is what the user is putting in, and then, you know, it gives out a, a, it, it gives out the actual format. So here, the, the user is asking for a tweet, and here it shows us how to make it a tweet in under 256 characters. And then the art forms as well. So you know, it's generating art forms that you can use. So that's all about. Chat Sonic. So it is an update on the Chat GPT that we all know and love. So that concludes our video on the top 10 AI platforms that you've never heard of. So these are all really good AI platforms that you may not have heard so far, but they are quite spectacular. Some of them deal with image corrections and image formations, others deal with um, voiceovers and dubbing, and then there are truly good ones like Rationale, which you can use to make decisions and you've also got other alternatives to chat GPT like we have a couple of chatbots here um, such as chat Sonic AI so, so that concludes this video we hope you found it interesting for more of such videos and listings please subscribe to our channel brain blitz audios you can also hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications from our channel so until the next webisode Take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.